Hi everyone, welcome to the art room. Today I'm going to show you how to make these cute little toilet paper tube or paper towel tube animals. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the owls. First of all, let's pretend I remembered to paint my nails today. Now, with your finger, push down the top rim of the toilet paper tube, turn it over and push down the other top. It makes like a nice little curve along the top edge of your tube. Now it's time to draw your owl. I'm going to use a permanent marker. You can use any kind of marker you want. Let's draw the face first. Draw a curve on the top and two curved lines and circles inside for the eyes. And then fill them in. Draw a little V for the beak and two big U shapes on the sides for the wings. I'm gonna fill the wings in with some pattern. You can do any type of pattern you want. I'm just making vertical stripes. Then you can draw the belly. I'm gonna fill the belly in with different patterns. Stripes, polka dots, lines, polka dots, stripes, lines. You can do any pattern that you want. Then do a little bit of touching up. Maybe I'll draw another type of owl on the back, just with two dots for eyes and a goofy mouth, maybe some eyelashes and a big heart in the middle, because this is a very lovely owl. I liked those little eyelashes, so I'm gonna put some over here, make a little wiggle for the feet, and then I'm gonna get ready to paint it. I'm gonna use watercolor paint to paint mine. You could color yours with colored pencil or crayons, or even just with markers. Another option is just to leave it brown and black. This paint is pretty see-through, but it works pretty well because I can still see my marker lines. If you had paint drawn your bird, with regular markers, this is gonna make the markers kind of bleed. Um, so that's why I used the permanent marker. So I'm just gonna pick some different colors to paint in and see how it goes. In some places, I wanna have some nice details. So for the beak, I'm gonna just use a colored pencil to fill in only that spot. And then I'm gonna put some yellow over here and there, maybe on top also. And see where else I want the color? Oh, let's put some more blue on the face. Now let's try that again. So I'm gonna take my two fingers, push down on the top edge, straighten it out a bit, push down, and then I'm gonna get my marker out to start drawing. I'm gonna use a permanent marker so the color doesn't bleed. This one's gonna be a little different. I'll just draw two circles for the eyes, a little circle inside, put a little V for the beak, a circle for the belly, Fill it in with a little bit of pattern here. Oops, circles. When I'm done with this, I'm gonna put some eyelashes. Then for the wings, big letter U's on the sides, just like here. And then I'm gonna fill these in with patterns. I wanna do the same stripe pattern on both sides. Draw the little zigzags for the feet. I like doing a line around this top edge to make it look a little more finished. You can draw another bird on the back or just draw the back of the bird. This bird's a little different. He's looking around the corner at his friend. I'm gonna do a heart pattern on this one 
hearts, and dots. I liked using the colored pencil on the other one for these details, so I'm gonna start with that here. When I'm done adding the colored pencil, then I'll paint it with the watercolors. I'm almost done. I'm gonna add a little more detail with this orange colored pencil and then just a few more colors on here. Thanks so much for watching. I look forward to seeing what you make. Watch my other videos to see what other kind of animals you can make.